For some, dream projects are akin to a ticket to stardom. But for others, those projects are no less than a living nightmare. Who know it better than the Nadia Dwalas for whom Hera Ferry is turning out to be their Achilles heel? Namaskar my friends, welcome to TFI Post, your go-to place for alternative opinions and that's me Animesh Pandey leading you all to the deep trouble the Nadia Dwalas are in and how Hera Ferry is somehow connected to the root cause of the same. Let's go ahead folks. Hera Ferry franchise is currently in the news for all the wrong reasons. Two large film magnates have locked horns over the rights of the movie, namely T-Series and Eros International. The former has issued a public notice maintaining that irrespective of the film, all the rights of the film music are reserved with them, since they allegedly gave the music for the second installment that is Fir Hera Ferry. However, with Eros, the tussle of Nadia Dwalas is just not restricted to the ideological front. Eros International has made it clear that the Nadia Dwalas production company Base Industries Group has an outstanding debt of over 60 crore rupees and until this is settled, all the rights of Hera Ferry are reserved with Eros International from content to copyright. What does this mean? This simply indicates that the Nadia Dwalas are liable to a criminal suit should they take matters into their own hands with respect to the third installment. Into this scenario, an aggressive online campaign is further adding salt to the wounds of the Nadia Dwalas. Everyone is trending tags like hashtag remove Farhad Samji, hashtag Farhad Samji hatao hera feri bachao to name a few. But why is this so? What has Farhan done so as to receive so much of online hatred? Well, the story started in 2016 when the third installment of the franchise was apparently announced. Contrary to expectations, Akshay Kumar was missing in the original segment of promotions. However, people had solid faith in the legendary duo of director Priyadarshan and screenwriter Neeraj Vora. Sadly, this happiness didn't last long. Neeraj, all set to return to the writing table, passed away in 2017 due to an unexpected heart attack. As time progressed, the search for a new director and a new writer seemed to never end. And the arrival of COVID-19 only added further to the woes of both the makers and the masses. As such, when the third installment of the eponymous franchise was finally announced a couple of months ago, the fans were overjoyed beyond imagination. However, their joy turned into indignation when they learned that Farhad Samji would be at the helm of affairs. Let it be known that Farhad Samji is nicknamed as Farhad Nolan Samji by some for his superb ability to produce disasters out of masterpieces and creating cult classics like Houseful 4, Bachchan Pandey and the more recently released Kisi Ka Bhai Kisi Ki Jaan. He is the midas with the reverse touch, reducing anything that is gold to rubble. No wonder everyone is crying in unison, Utha le re baba, utha le, hame nahi is Farhad ko utha le. To be honest, Hera Ferry is not just a franchise. It is a legacy that just cannot be reduced to rubble. Imagine someone taking Tom and Jerry and turning it into a puke-inducing woke fest. Ruining Hera Ferry would just be that and this would be unpardonable in every sense of the word. With that, the Nadia Dwalas have officially only two options left. Either call off the franchisee for good or remove Farad Samji as soon as possible. Besides, Bollywood is not that bereft of talented writers and directors, are they? 